Hi, my name is Gabriel Ha, and this video features a brief, simple, yet powerful demonstration of how MATLAB makes it easy, convenient, and scalable to analyze big data using tall arrays. So let's get right to it. If you're like most people, you're probably familiar with the concept of a taxi. And if you're too young to know what that is, it's like Uber or Lyft. In a big city like New York City, the volume of taxis is enormous, and even more so is the amount of trip data collected from each ride. The New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission makes this information publicly available at the website right here. And the data sets from 2015 alone comprise 21.3 gigabytes. So if you're like me, you'll appreciate that MATLAB can process all that data, even if it doesn't fit in memory, using the same familiar syntax that you already know how to use. And that's just the start of how MATLAB makes it easy. So first, we're going to download all those files into the same folder. I don't... I don't even have a watch, but the skin on my wrist is pretty interesting. Next, we create a data store object that points to those files. And finally, the code to bring it into a tall array is just tall of data store. It's that easy. You can very easily do things with this data set entirely in MATLAB, like using the given data to derive additional values and seeing how the averages of these values change during the course of the day. Now, to do that, you just have to use one function that groups everything by the hour of day that a taxi picked up a passenger. Now, here we have the graph of average trip distance versus hour of day. You can see that people during the hours of 4 to 6 AM tend to take longer trips. Next, we have average tip percentage. It seems that, for whatever reason, people tend to be pretty generous between the hours of 7 to 8 p.m. I don't know why, but that's what the data is telling me. Now, averages are pretty useful, but what if you wanted to see some of this information presented at a more aggregate level? And what kind of interesting problems could you solve along the way? Well, one interesting data point recorded in these data sets is the longitude and latitude of the pickup location. So let's get a little bit into predictive modeling. As a cab driver in New York City, given a certain hour of day, where are the large concentrations of people who might be needing a taxi? Now here's one way that we can approach it. We can use MATLAB's web mapping service to get an aerial view of New York City. Then we can just plot all those points on this map. Now the one caveat is that whatever data you want to actually graph has to fit in memory, like an average value from the previous example. So while we can't use a scatter plot for this purpose, nor would that be particularly interesting. We can use a two-dimensional histogram. Let's take a look. One neat thing about MATLAB's web mapping service is that it can pull up notable landmarks in a city. So you can see how as the day progresses, commuting areas like Penn Station start getting a lot of people requesting taxis. But you can also see other areas where there seem to be a lot of pickup requests as well. Now, one amusing thing is that the data suggests that some people got picked up in the middle of a body of water. But just because big data can sometimes be noisy doesn't mean that you have to make a fuss when it comes time to process it. MATLAB makes this entire experience convenient by being able to access and process this data using the systems that you already use. And MATLAB makes things scalable by being able to process the exact same algorithm using a Spark Hadoop cluster or your local machine even if that data doesn't fit in memory. If you take a quick look at the code outline, you can see that the core algorithm which processed the data is here. Now above that code, completely separate from the algorithm, is the code that tells MATLAB to use a Spark Hadoop cluster to process that data instead of your local machine. So what this means is that you can easily prototype your algorithms using a subset of that big data. And then when you're ready to process all of it, you can use your local machine or save yourself a couple of hours by using the compute cluster of your choice. Same algorithm, same code, all in MATLAB. If you want to see any or all of the code used in this demo, just download it from the links below. And if you're interested in seeing how to do machine learning and predictive analytics with big data, be sure to check out that content as well. Thanks for watching, and don't hesitate to send comments and feedback our way.